Hello everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Shanae. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all my tips and tricks for baking your face and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder today. So this is what the packaging looks like for the powder. It's really nice and sleek. Mine is a bit dirty because I have used heaps of this powder already. It is one of my favorite drugstore powders, hands down. So the color I'm going to be using today is 10 Fair Light. And and also, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft channel so you guys are updated every time we upload new videos and thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. So before we get into the baking today, I am just going to quickly put on foundation, concealer, and then we'll start baking our faces. And if you guys don't know what baking is, basically it is setting your face with a lot of powder using an excessive amount. I like to use a makeup sponge when doing this technique and this technique is really good for people who have oily skin or have trouble with creasing like around the smile lines or like on your forehead which I definitely do have those problems so this technique does keep my foundation oh my god I'm losing my voice does keep my foundation in place all day so I'm going to quickly put foundation on concealer and we're going to get straight into it so for foundation today I think I'm going to use my Superstay foundation this one's in the color true ivory but I might mix it with another shade as well I've also got one in soft beige so I think I might mix them together because my face is definitely lighter than what my body is just going to dot that on and just mix those two shades together to get my perfect shade Okay, so I've got my foundation on. We're going to move on to concealer. I'm going to use an old classic fave, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this one's in the color 15 Fair. I've been really lazy with wearing fake tan lately. I just can't be bothered. So we're rocking our fair skin today. So now it's time to open up our loose powder. I'm just going to tap some of the powder into the lid. Oh my god. I am going to bake under my eyes first just to stop them from creasing. And I'm going to take my beauty sponge and just dip it into that powder. And the sponge should be coated like that. And then we're just going to pop it straight on. and Just press it right in there. You're going to look a little bit crazy for a little bit. I like to bring it up onto the sides of my nose because I feel like it makes my nose look thinner. And also I do get an oily T-zone. I also like to bake around my smile line area. So just grab your brush or sponge and just kind of tap out that foundation. Just so it's like really smooth and there's no creases before you bake it. And then just go over those areas. I also like to put some on my forehead because my forehead can crease throughout the day. So after a couple of minutes, I will brush this off my face. I'm just letting it bake on my face. If you're someone who has really, really, really dry skin, I would recommend maybe not doing this for too long because the longer you leave it, the more it's just going to kind of set. And if you've got like dry skin, it can feel uncomfortable and make you look really dry. I, however, have really like oily skin, so I love doing this technique. It just really holds everything in place. So what I'm going to do now is brush all this excess powder off, I'm just going to use a really big fluffy brush and as I'm doing that I'm just going to maybe put some of this excess powder on the areas I didn't set. Okay guys, so I have finished the rest of my makeup. I'm just going to give you one more kind of tip before I go. So if you guys ever feel like you've contoured or bronzed your face a bit messily, surprisingly, I think I've done a really good job today, so I don't really need to do this, but I will show you. I'm just going to take my powder again and my beauty sponge. And to clean that up, you can just kind of run just underneath. And I like to kind of bring it 
to the corner of my mouth and after a few minutes you can just brush that off and reveal your nice clean contour bronzer line I love doing this it just makes such a difference it really just pulls the whole makeup look together and you can do the same if you're contouring your nose as well but anyway I think that's it for this video I hope you guys really really enjoyed it like I said at the start don't forget to thumbs up the video subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.